This is a very exciting moment. It's the world's first sea trial of this new Cox 300 horsepower diesel engine. It's the most powerful production diesel outboard engine ever produced. It has been designed from the ground up in Britain. It's going to be built in Britain. It uses a 4.4 litre V8 engine. It's mounted longitudinally. It's common rail injection, twin turbo diesel, produces 300 horsepower, and most importantly of all, 650 newton meters of torque. So with stats like that, it's at least as powerful as a 300 horsepower petrol engine. It's a low torqueier. It should be just as smooth, but crucially, it should also burn a lot less fuel. This is the prototype. We're first to get on it. Let's start it up and see how it goes. This is still a prototype engine, hence the screening and the various safety measures we've got to take. But with any luck, it should give us a good idea of how it runs. So can we lower it into the water and fire it up? Now, I don't know how much of, you, of that you can hear, but to my ear, that already sounds very smooth and considerably smoother than the four-cylinder diesel apple engine we've just been driving. A little bit noisier than the petrol at this speed, but it might smooth off as it picks up speed and picks up warmth. But already, you can hear that's a nice, nice smooth-running V8 diesel. Already you can hear just how much smoother it is with a V8 rather than the oxy diesel four-cylinder engine. It just has a nice natural thrum. This perspex screen is screening off a little bit of the noise, but it's not so much the noise, it's a smooth, there's very few vibrations. It seems to run very comfortably at speed. And to be honest, when you're at this kind of speed in an open boat, what you're really going to hear is the wind noise and the boat noise. So, although it probably is a little bit noisier than a petrol, you're not really going to notice that once you're up and running. It's the smoothness that impresses. So, of course, this is a conventional diesel outboard. You've got the power running straight down the shaft into a gearbox. And one of the tricks is trying to build a gearbox capable of taking that 650 newton meters of torque. But from what we see, it doesn't look too wide or large. It doesn't look like it's going to be an awful lot of drag. And provided it's robust enough, it seems to work very well. But definitely having that nice V8 smooth running engine enables it to really compete with a traditional petrol outboard. They've used an all aluminium block, which helps keep the weight down to uh, a target weight of 350 kilograms. This is still the prototype with some heavy machine parts, but the idea is that by the time it's production ready, it'll be 350 kilograms, very comparable to a V8 petrol engine. The other thing they're still experimenting with is the propellers. Uh, this has got a 21 inch prop on it, so it revs to about three and a half thousand RPM. Uh, the 19 inch would rev closer to that 4,000 RPM top end and should give a top speed of around 35 knots rather than the 32 knots we've been getting. But again, it's all work in progress. By the time we get to the finished production boat, it should be revving out to close to 4,000 RPM and hopefully a top speed of between 35 and 40 knots. Well, that has been a really interesting experience. We've now been around the lake several laps and really got a feel for it. And I think what's most unexpected is just how smooth that is as a diesel engine. We've done a back-to-back -back test between this and a 350 horsepower V8 petrol engine, and there is really very little in it in terms of noise and smoothness. Sure, the petrol engine will rev faster and ultimately 
make the boat go faster, but in terms of smoothness and refinement, there's not nearly as much in it as I thought. In fact, other than at idle, where perhaps the petrol is still a little bit quieter, when you're cruising, they're very, very similar. Not enough in it to, to, to make any significant difference. So, the brand new 300 horsepower diesel engine, starting price is going to be about 35,000 plus VAT. And now, finally, we've got a diesel alternative that will give similar performance, certainly in the mid-range, at much better fuel economy. And this is just the prototype. I can't wait until we've tested the production engine.